everyone, it's Anne here from Positive Blue Papercraft. Today I'm back with a gift box that I needed to make for a cup that I've bought as a gift. Now, this was just my prototype and it's got this beautiful mug inside but it doesn't, it didn't come with a box and I wanted to make me own. So that's what we're going to do. Um, and I'll give you a rough idea of what my cup is. It's measuring at uh, three and three quarters but then to the handle sticking out it's nearly five and a quarter inches and then it is three and three quarter inches tall so that's the measurement of the mug. So I'm using this first edition all that glitters now because it's only 8 by 8 I didn't have, I've had to cut some of mine in like set in different patterns but I, I'm not really too bothered so we'll get to them in a minute. So for the box you're going to need two pieces of card which are the same 11 by 12 inches and you're going to score them the same as well. So. You are going to score the short side at 6 inches and 10 and a half inches. And if you go onto my blog, I'll have the measurements in imperial and metric as well. Turn it to the long side and then you want to score at half an inch half an inch um, where is it half an inch five inches and nine and a half okay so the right way up will be you've got one two three four four sections that'll be top to bottom Again, short side and you want to score at six inches and ten and a half. Long side, half an inch five inches and nine and a half. Okay. And then you want a piece so that your cup can sit inside, which is seven. Well, it's just slightly under seven, just a tiny little bit under seven and a tiny little bit under five and a half. And I've just scored all four sides at half an inch. And it's really easy to put together as well. So I'm just going to fold and burnish everything first. Alright, so this piece here, um, I've used a circle die and I've obviously tried to get a one that is as close as possible to the, the base of my cup. And that is the closest one I could get. And this happens to measure. It is on the actual cut line. It's three and a half inches. Okay. And then we just want to run this through. And then just obviously keep it central in the middle of the score lines. Okay, so I'm just going to line it up best I can. And 
and then you will end up with that, okay? All right, so for this little piece here, All we're going to do is just cut these little four corners away, okay? Because it's just going to kind of tuck down into the box. And the cup is just going to sit in the little circle we've made. So We'll just sit in the box like that and then as you can see the cup just fits nicely in there so it's not just rattling around all over in the box. Now okay so as I said you want to have your one two three four sections that's the top to the bottom of your card there and they're just going to join together like that but before we do we're just going to cut cut up the bottom and we're going to remove this rectangle here and then we're also going to remove this top one including the little square at the top and you want to do the same on the other piece Okay, so you should end up with that now. And then I am going to glue mine together just like that, okay? So just glue on here. And that's why I've cut it before because then it saves us putting glue all the way down there because we would have had to have cut down there so it's pointless really. So this way we only need glue, you know, we only need to glue the bits that we need. So the box is going to go together like this, so I need to remove this whole panel here. So that will be the box and that bit will close over so these two bits will be the side so what I'm going to do for them is leave about an inch from the score line and this is just so when the lid's down the box doesn't like gape at the sides which I'll show you what I mean when we do it so cut down there and we're just leaving this big one and we're going to do the same I'm just leaving about an inch up from the score line and that will be the box like that okay so I've got a corner rounder I'm going to round these corners here and also where the box closes as well just helps it close a bit better
just trim that bit off there. Right. Let's get these bits out of the way. So as I said, it will go together like that. Now, we might as well put our paper on while it's flat. So I've had to cut mine from different pieces because I only used 8 by 8 So I want to have, this is going to be the front, so I want this piece on the front. So you need three pieces, which are 5 and 7 eighths by 4 and 3 eighths. Then, what you can do as well is you can punch a little finger hole um, just to make it a bit easier to open just in the middle. Okay, just like that. And then we want some glue down here, not inside. And then just glue it together. All right, and then now we can trim a bit off these because they're just slightly getting in the way, which they do sometimes. Just a little bit like that. And I'll just see if that's better. Yeah, that's much better. Of course, of course, is really nice. And then the bottom, I just want a bit of glue. On here and on here just a bit along there okay you want to make sure that's really stuck down because you don't want your cup drop dropping out the bottom and I'm just gonna Make sure it's all stuck down. Okay, and then our little inside piece. As I said, just fold it like this and then this should just slot in nicely. And I've made it a nice little snug fit so it won't, you know, move around. And then the cup will just sit in there. And isn't that so much better than just gifting the cup as is? And then it's just a case of decorating however you want it. So what I've done is using... My favourite uh, Ponsettia dies by Simply Made Crafts. I have cut out, I've cut them out of gold, like a kind of gold foil. And I've cut the oh, I can't find the other one. I cut two of them out and I don't know where it's gone had cut two of those little stem things out. I'm going to have to see if I can find it now. And then I've also cut out this tag. You get like two pieces. Um, you can either have the 24th or the 25th and then that's the blank one. So you get all them pieces together. 
which it's really nice I think it's from surprise creation store but I'll put the link for all the things I've used in the video there it is I found it and then this lovely Merry Christmas again this is from surprise creation so what I'll probably do is while I decorate this I'll probably just speed the video up Okay, so that is my gorgeous little mug box finished. I think it looks really festive and Christmassy and it just looks so much nicer than just giving the mug like that and you open it up and it's all professional inside and you could even put some little chocolates in the cup or whatever you want as well. You could gift some things in it. So yeah I'm really happy with that so that's a gift a gift that's for my mum this year so I know she'll love it so yeah all the info will be on my blog so thanks for watching take care and bye for now